a staggering amount of commercially caught fish is being thrown overboard. Some organizations, like the well-known Fish Fight campaign, say that all of those discarded fish are either dead before they hit the water or they die soon after, victims of predation or injury. But others argue that some of those species are strong enough to survive after being discarded and live long enough to reproduce. The European Common Fisheries Policy was recently reformed and will now phase in a ban on discards. The idea behind the ban is to stimulate more selective fishing techniques. But if a juvenile fish lives long enough after being discarded to spawn new fish, it should be given that opportunity. For this reason, the discard policy provides an important exception. If a certain species can be scientifically proven to have a high chance of survival, fish of that species should be thrown back after catch. Researchers at the Institute for Agricultural and Fisheries Research, or ILVO, in Ostend, Belgium, are testing the most commercially important species of flatfish, place, sole, and dab, for their likelihood of survival. So the, the fishing sector approached ILVO and asked whether you, know, you can provide this kind of scientific support in this uh, research, and if you want to say something of the overall survival of place discards in the beam troll fishery, you have to conceive data for a lot of uh, individuals to say something on a, on a fleet-wide scale. There are several ways to monitor fish survival. You can keep them in tanks aboard a ship, or tag them before release to find out what happens to them afterwards. But there might be a cheaper and faster alternative, to test the fish's reflexes as an indication of its vitality. American researcher Michael Davis has developed such a method called Reflex Action Mortality Predictor, or RAMP for short. ILVO is now using this method to see how well it can predict the survival of discarded fish in the North Sea beam trawl fishery. So the idea behind the reflex method is similar to what we as humans experience sometimes when you go to a doctor and you get a knock on your knee or your elbow and you uh, respond to it without really thinking about it and you find that for fish and other organisms you find these similar kind of response patterns. Now by testing different kind of reflexes you will possibly pick up if a fish is not very healthy and if the fish is really stressed, it won't respond in this kind of fixed action pattern. For example, an unstressed, healthy fish will try to struggle free when something holds its tail fin, but an exhausted or injured individual may be too weak to show a response. The goal of this research is to see whether the number of absent reflex responses is correlated with a high chance of mortality. Then researchers will be able to predict the survival of a large number of fish in a cost-effective way. If this research can prove that enough flatfish could actually survive being discarded, this could become a win-win situation for two groups under pressure, the North Sea fishermen and the fish themselves.